When a state legislator resigns at the Capitol, like Democratic State Rep Ruby Dixon did last week, their replacement is picked by a handful of party insiders, a representative for tens of thousands of people picked by a group of dozens. There's a ballot proposal being considered to let all the voters decide. But at what cost? Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger. To come through the main doors of the state legislative chambers, more than a quarter of state lawmakers have used a side door. If this sounds familiar, it's because we've covered it extensively, most recently in January. Vacancy committees, while I don't like them, I understand how they're necessary. Democratic State Representative Lorena Garcia became a state representative in January when she was picked by 24 people to fill a vacant seat when a lawmaker resigned. Vacancy committees, often a handful of party insiders, fill House and Senate seats when lawmakers resign or pass away. Right now in the legislature, lawmakers representing 19 areas from Adams County, Akron and Aurora to Monument, Newcastle and Pueblo, they were first picked by a committee, not an election. All these vacancy committees are a fact of living in Colorado. Uh, we do agree that voters should be the ones picking their elected officials. Democratic Party Chair Shad Murib acknowledges the flaw in the system, the one that will have about 50 Democrats picking the replacement for Ruby Dixon, who resigned from the state house on Friday. Vacancy elections are a result of us not being able to pay for special elections in this state. Enter former DeVita CEO Kent Theory, who is pursuing a ballot issue for November that would overhaul how the state conducts elections, including prohibiting vacancy committees and instead requiring a special election. The current initiatives uh, stipulate that you could have, uh, you know, entire general assembly sessions go by if someone were to pass away or step aside without a member representing that community. In the last year, here are how vacancies were filled at the Capitol. Democratic State Representative Manny Rutinell was picked by a vacancy committee of 23 people. State Rep Kyle Brown, 41. State Rep Tim Hernandez, 39. On the Republican side, State Rep Ron Weinberg was picked by 23 people. In the Senate, Democratic State Senator Daphna Michelson Janay was picked by 46 people. And Republican State Senator Perry Will, 17. So how much is a special election? Follow me here. Two years ago, the county clerks had to estimate how much a possible gubernatorial recall would cost. So using the estimate from two years ago that Arapahoe County gave the state, which is where Ruby Dixon is going to be replaced in Arapahoe County, it's about $1.84 or $1.84 per voter. So Kyle, my math is for the voters in that district, about 112,000 for an election that is instead going to be a vacancy committee. You say $1.84? Per voter. That was two years ago with, you know, property taxes and whatnot. It could be a little bit more than that. But yes, yes, 184 per voter. It's, it's, the question is whether or not you could have people not represented for a period of time. Yep. You're going to have this election. Yep. So maybe, you know, there's 100 lawmakers, but for a whole legislative session, it's possible, hey, you only have 99. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's democracy worth to you? Buck 84? Nah, let's just let 17 people pick. That sounds good. All right, Marshall, thank you.